Hello, it's me, Alex, and my friend you all know and love. He's back from his trip from DC. It is. I'm, I'm not gonna say his name, but you know who it is. <laughs> hey there, folks. It's uh, me, Jake. I, uh, you know, I just flew in from uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, and uh, boy, are my cigarettes tired. Hmm? It's hard to get a stiff drink in this town, eh? Capiche? Wait a minute. What? No, you it's, don't... it's me. <laughs> You don't look or sound like Jake. I know. It's me, Christian Slater. Oh, okay, Famous cool. actor Christian Slater. Oh, this is cute. He's, uh, it's me, like a, Chance. He's a polygon, but now he's gonna turn into a, a smooth boy? Alex, I... Be <laughs> yeah, well, because he's being updated through... Actually, I brought a little thing to read at the top of the show. Sure. It'll only take a couple minutes. I hope you don't mind. Go ahead. That's that so long. <laughs> it's really long. <laughs> okay. Well, I was listening to, like, you know, Doughboys and, like, what Nick Weiger does with that and how they kind of, they introduce you to the history of the franchise sure. before they get into it. So I wrote a little thing at work. I spent an hour or two on it. It was the summer of 1994. The Lion King was a smash hit at the box office. Swedish pop group Ace of Base had everyone bopping their heads to their summer chart topper, The Sign. And the whole country remained glued to their televisions as O.J. Simpson led police on a harrowing chase in his infamous white bronco, bravely defying accusations raised at him for a crime of which he was entirely innocent, as is the official stance of the Bogwater Boys. The summer of 94 is also when Naughty Dog's two sole members, Andy Gavin and Jason Rubin, took a fateful drive from Boston to Los Angeles. On this drive, they observed that the fighting and racing genres of video games had begun to leave behind their simple sprite-based roots and transition into the world of 3D rendering with titles like Ridge Racer and Virtua Fighter. I did a little bit of research on this. Our two heroes couldn't help but wonder how their favorite genre, the platforming game, would make the same transition. They imagined that the product of such a transition would be a game where the player is moving their character forward as opposed to traditional side-scrolling, and thus be locked into viewing only the character's rear end. This tongue-in-cheek exchange led to their next game's first working title, Sonic's Ass. Sonic's Ass was later known as Willy the Wombat, and finally, after a lengthy squabble with Naughty Dog's producers at Universal, Crash Bandicoot. Crash's zany obscurity was the result of many complex deliberations. At the time, the two major video game mascots, as you remember Alex, were Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog and Nintendo's Mario. <laughs> Despite Mario's Italian heritage and the evolutionary ambiguity of Sonic the Hedgehog's lineage, these characters were distinctly Japanese in their sensibility, a reflection of Japan's dominance in the video game market in the 90s. Gavin and Rubin realized that Sony need to make a they realized that Sony need to make a dazzling entrance on the gaming scene with a charming mascot of their own to be the face of the upcoming PlayStation console. They also recognized that the world was missing a digital mascot with a more American flavor, someone crass and shirtless with jean shorts and a big titted girlfriend. But they couldn't make this character human because I would have sued them for encroaching on my brand. Andy Gavin himself says, quote, We wanted to do what Sega had done with the Hedgehog and Warner Brothers had done with the Tasmanian Devil and find some kind of animal that was cute, real, and no one really knew about. Thus, the humble bandicoot. This orange-furred, crate-smashing rabble-rouser helped Sony explode onto the market with their new console in September 1996, the same month as Arthur's premiere on PBS and the Taliban's brutal execution of Afghanistan President Mohammad Najibullah. Crash Bandicoot even held his own against the behemoth Super Mario 64 because of Naughty Dog's dense, beautiful environments and smooth game flow, products of Gavin and Rubin's innovations in polygon occlusion and character animation. Despite his early success, Sony's lovable Bandicoot lacked the staying power of his contemporaries Mario and Sonic. However, 2017 brought us a lovingly done remake of the first three Crash Bandicoot titles. I humbly invite you to join us as we experience this modern interpretation of a true classic and profess O.J. Simpson's innocence. Let's dive, or should I say, crash, into New York game developer Vicarious Visions Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Hey. It's, hey, folks. It's uh, the Bottle Wire Boys. It's good to see you. We just lost an hour of footage because yes, I didn't plug my stupid do. computer in. We, oh my god, I'm so oh, mad. Yeah. I even prepared like a whole big intro and everything. You did so the th intro. This is really. This you is, know what? I'm gonna put the intro in. Anyways. This is on. <laughs> this is on Alex. I'm gonna put the intro in. How's that gonna work? I'll just. I don't know. I'll capture the beginning of the game again. I, don't know. Well, I guess. I mean, we were just sitting on the title screen anyway. Exactly. Yeah, would... whatever. They've already seen it, so who cares? Why talk about it? Oh. Uh, <gasps> uh, wow. Got him? No, don't got him. Anyways, I don't know how to start this now. <laughs> I did. 
Um, because we we're fighting Ripperoo. I mean, this is, I mean, you know, this is the remake. You know, the intro did it. They they, they know what it is. They're, I'm Chance. Uh, catch me on Twitter at Papa underscore Worldwide. I forgot it was changed. Um, and that's you know. Can I take Super Shit Wagon? <laughs> You're welcome to have it. I guess I. Wow, that it was it was that for way too long. It was way like um, I've evolved so far past my handle. Do you remember Super's Hit Wagon? <laughs> I mean, that's still kind of funny. I think it's funny. Oh, man. You, um, you have no idea the relief I felt after deleting all of that. Well, I'm glad you felt relief. I just felt pain. <laughs> I've, um, I've got it. I've got it all. I know you do, and that's good. Tony Soprano, suck a fucking meatballs, a classic it's tweet. Tony Soproni. Tony Soproni. Tony uh, Macaroni. Man, that timing's hard to get. Um, God, I'm so... I'm so <laughs> Still mad. pretty upset? I'm so mad. <laughs> Why didn't I plug in my computer? <laughs> I've done this a million hey, times. It's okay. You know, there are people that didn't plug their computer in and then it died during something important that work for, like, you know, like NASA. So, you know, at least you don't work for NASA. At least you don't work for NASA. Thank I God you don't space. work for okay, big space. <laughs> there we go. Finally hit him with one bonk. Well, I guess you guys didn't miss too much because we did lose an hour and 13 minutes, but the last 30 minutes has been this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It hasn't been. Yeah, we lost about 42 hours of this. <laughs> yeah, we lost a lot of episodes where we just <laughs> start just fighting Ripperoo. You'll notice that Ripperoo only needs to be hit three times. Uh, but it, it's pretty tough. If you don't believe us, go play it, be better <laughs> at it, and then make fun of us. Please do. Please like, comment, and subscribe if, if you're better at this game than us. Wait, well, maybe we should break it. Like, if you're better at this game than us, comment. If you're just as good as it as us, subscribe. And if you're worse than us, like. That way we'll know who's who. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> but if you want to do all three, you can. But you have to specify in your comment that you did all three. Yeah. And, and for that reason. Yeah. You're like, I'm making no comment on how good I am at this game. I'm actually worse. So first, I... Uh... Wait, I don't know. I don't remember the order. Is it... If they're worse, <laughs> they comment. No, if they're better, they comment. If they're just as good, they subscribe. And if they're worse, they, they like. If they're worse, okay. they like. Yeah, the comment's like, hey, I'm actually worse, so I liked first, but I also wanted to subscribe and comment. Yes. Just letting you know. Sure. That's the ideal comment for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Even just watching our videos and interacting with us in any way is needlessly complex. Yeah, it really is. There's there's some authorization forms that are involved. Oh, yeah. I make everybody sign a waiver before they actually have access to my videos. That's true, because if you get stuck on buffering for too long, we'll go to your house and beat you with pipes. <laughs> Every time you watch one of my videos, it takes away from my internet, <laughs> is how it works. Yeah. Okay, so I don't want anybody to watch them too much. That's why the view count is so low. I well, throttle and, it. And what's really tough is how your your PlayStation has to render all of it live. So yeah. if, if anyone's watching our videos, first of all, only one computer can watch our videos <laughs> at once, unless two computers are watching the exact video at the exact <laughs> timestamp, then you can kind of double up. Yeah. Um, but and, yes, yeah. uh, what Chance is getting at there is that you do, in fact, owe me for the electricity that is powering my PlayStation 4. Yes. Um, so... And direct attacks don't hurt me, so don't even try it. Absolutely. So, to repeat, comment if you're better than us, like if you're worse than us, subscribe, subscribe if you're, if you're just, just as, as good. good at us, and go ahead and send a direct message to get our, that money to us. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Them's the rules. Man, I'm sorry you lost. Them's the breaks. It's <laughs> fine. I feel like the energy is gone. Um, no. I, it's not gone, but it's different no, now. Because now we're, now we're in. <laughs> I like it better now, because now... Damn, when, we, we got all the bad jokes out. <laughs> Absolutely. I think now we're the engine's primed. The choke is there, and the throttle's jerking. <laughs> the whole first episode is going to be Ripperoo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll cut... I don't know. I'll yeah, do well, this. no. I think I think you keep it like this. Maybe I'll, I don't know. Does anybody watch to actually see platforming action? I mean, you maybe gotta they play. don't... Uh, <clears throat> Maybe oh, they don't man. watch for that, 
but I feel like it provides some good like stuff to do with your eyes sure. while you listen. <laughs> you know, which is why the first episode of that Dragon Quest series that me and Jake did, where we just talked about the Bogwater Boys the entire time, yeah, is probably insufferable to watch because um, it starts out just horrible. <laughs> The very end of that first video, I didn't really know how to, you know, what I should be playing when I was doing Dragon Quest, so I started a new game, backed out, went to an old save file, and then, no, it, oh god, and then, um, started just, like, a, a random, like, battle that wasn't a story one, okay. and it was really boring to, like, watch, because, um, there was nothing really happening, except I was just, you know, fighting hordes of monsters, you know, it's Dynasty Warriors. I did it! Nice! I did it! And there he goes. Um, dead forever. And <laughs> we hate him. Um, <laughs> do I get... Am I done? There's okay. a portal somewhere, right? Oh, it you just get it. zoinked me out. Okay. There you go. Got zoinked. Um, Good job, my friend. Anyways, that, that first episode, it's just me, like, running around this mostly empty battlefield, fighting the same guys for, like, 20 minutes. Okay. And then at the very end of the video, Jake stops doing the bit for a second, he's like... This game doesn't look very fun to me. <laughs> and then I put it right there. And then it goes to the next part. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. This game, on the other hand, is a riot and a blast. It looks very fun to me. It's... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, you know, it wouldn't be a Bogwater Boys video if it didn't start after we were already an hour or two in. Yeah. I will, oh, I will say man. that. Oh, How... man, oh, man. How does... I hate that mouth. Looks like I got what mouth? The it's like a mouth that you're going into. I don't know if it's a mouth. Look at those eyebrows and that nose. Nah, you're right. You're right, man. Thank you. Th this uh, now, that's a lot lizard. So <laughs> that's a reference to the earlier lost hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made a joke about truckers and lot lizards and what was that other road toads? Road toads. Yeah, you're um, a toady. So boom, said. they're all caught up. Yeah, you caught up. Don't don't worry about it. If you want the raw the raw audio, the raw hour and 13 minutes, I'll send it to you. Just DM yeah. me. Just DM us. A after we get your money order. <laughs> yeah, please please send us a check, and then I will DM you the audio. Hide from bats. Ooh. It's like yeah. you know this game. I do. Inside it, and out. This level is called Sunset Vista, and I used to have a lot of trouble with it. And uh, you'll likely see that I still do. Ooh. That, I'm scared. I probably should have jumped on that. Yeah, it's but, okay. Uh, man, I wish the crouch jump was in this game. I, I, man, I don't remember if that was in the original. I, I guess it must not have been since it's not here. Ah, oh, it's a shame that I can't get that one. Sorry, I'm doing my Jake impression again. I thought, I thought that was a, uh, uh, the man from a uh, Skyrim, Gerder's husband, oh. who I don't know his name. Uh, isn't it like Rogdeer? Rogdeer and Gerder, maybe. That oh! Was, that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like Clockwork. Great album by Queens of the Stone Age, one of Jake's favorite bands. That's true. Oh, man. Uh-oh. No. You got it. There we go. It's kind of cute that, like... No, I thought... Uh, sorry. I thought all those passing bats were, like, waking up that one, but it's just you being near. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, there's an unreleased level from the original... Crash Bandicoot that uh, apparently was very hard and was shown off in like beta versions of the game that they actually have as DLC for the Insane Trilogy. Okay. And it's free DLC. That but is the level cool. looks... Get down! <laughs> Sorry. The level looks so hard that I don't think I would ever play it. <laughs> oh, well, I gotta then. Oh man, wow, I talked so much about the history of Crash Bandicoot like during that first hour. It's fine. It's probably good that we don't have that. Something weird was happening with the analog stick. I might have finally broken your controller. Please do. Just from stress. <laughs> oh, I get what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to... I, um... Okay. I All will right. put in that that reading that you did. At the okay, beginning. cool. Great. But, so that'll give oh. us some history. Oh, I see. It's, okay, I'm locked off now. There's Wow, there's a lot of special stuff you gotta do that I'm not good at. Um to get that I, I guess those things give you the mini boss the little bald man tokens yeah Th there's a teleporter later on uh, that I remember because I remember when I asked you that question I did finally find the little thing that oh hmm I did finally find the thing that I think would have teleported me to him okay 
But like I said, I didn't have all the tokens. <laughs> and, you know, it's just frustrating because, like, in real life, I know everything about how to get all tokens yeah. of any kind. So yeah. it's, I don't know, it's just stupid that in a game I can't, like, replicate that. You, you can't dead. replicate your token knowledge. Wow, I guess you can't spin a lizard anymore. PC culture. <laughs> You're anti-gamer. Watch, I'll try again. You showing. did. No, yeah, it's not. Hey, go to the right behind those zones yeah hey when you're right you're right there's one this bald man token that i do know how to get in real life <laughs> i hate the bald man you'll never catch me you'll never catch me whoa said all the gamers in 1996 see that this one i remember this jump this sucks because you got to go here and then you got to jump back that's it, my boy. And then you just have to let them keep chasing you? I, I think you can... Yeah. Oh, you okay, can. so you just can't spin those guys. Okay. There's a... No. Okay. That was That's, a good noise. It's a good noise to make and is normal. That's going to be our... What? That's going to be our... Uh... I was a little too lazy to memorize the pattern. That's going to be our drop for our, uh, <laughs> our radio station. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's when we go to like a, a local artist. School. Nice. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay. I didn't know you could hit those. I'm doing fine, dude. Yeah. That's a rough one.